Welcome to the Doctor Who Tops 2015 box break. Uh, yes, there's been 12 doctors, uh, almost as many doctors as years you've been alive. Um, a long gap in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, uh, but we did get the uh, TV movie Doctor. So this is the t real first... Uh, there's been Doctor Who trading cards in the past. They've been decent enough, but Tops is in a league all of its own. It has a ton of great signers, a lot of doctors. You get uh, two hits per box. Um, let's see if it breaks it down. There's six cards per pack. Uh, huh, 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 huh. I believe you get two hits per box. Uh, you can get a relics. You can get pieces of the, the jerseys and clothing. You can get autographs from the doctors. You can get all kinds of cool things in this. This is really, uh, I was excited to see Doctor Who uh, getting a proper release. I'm um, glad that it's featuring the movie Doctor. I'm glad that he's part of the canon what? now. The TV movie Doctor. The Eighth Doctor. Why? Uh, well, because I thought he was very cool. Uh, why wouldn't he be there? He's the Eighth Doctor. Well, a lot of times before, uh, like the last two or three years, people thought he wasn't canon, that he w didn't really exist. Uh, but then they started incorporating him into episodes. And uh, Moffat actually had him in a little mini episode as well, where he regenerated wasn't, uh, into the War Doctor. So that was very uh, cool. Wasn't wasn't there a Doctor that only had one episode? Yeah, that was the TV Doctor. Oh. So Doctor Who's been around since 1963, I believe. Uh, my Doctor, which is how you talk about your first Doctor that you've seen, or you really enjoyed, like, was... Uh, Tom Baker, the fourth Doctor, was my Doctor. I used to watch it on PBS uh, um, in Boston. Um, who's your Who's your Doctor? Eleventh. Eleventh Doctor is your Doctor. Definitely. All right. uh, we've watched a lot of them. I watched episodes from all the Doctors. The first Doctor. I like the third Doctor, uh, second Doctor rather, quite a bit. Um, so let's uh, show these off. The first card I got is a Victoria Waterfield Companion. So that is what the cards look like. Very sharp. And then the background as well. <laughs> Professor Malcolm Taylor. And my first card. Uh, look at this. Remember this one? Vincent and the Doctor? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 2010. That, that, that was one of the best uh, episodes of the new regen. The Mox of Balkan. She's fat. She's blue. It looks like he's never stood up before and never will stand up. No, it doesn't look like it. He got Series 8 index card. And so what that says is Series 8 features 12 episodes and a Christmas special. The 12th Doctor and Clara take a deep breath as the clockwork droids return. Can I see? And it goes right through the whole Series 8. Whoa. So that's cool. Uh, classic. Supreme Dalek. Speaking Dalek. Exterminate. Exterminate. Speaking of Daleks. The Dalek invasion of Earth, huh? That was uh, the, t uh, the movie. So they actually included that in here, too. Dad, How awesome is that? I'd be actually watched both of those as well. Dad? Battle. Was apparently it, Battle they uh, also include... Danny Pink. Thought he'd play a bigger part in the series. They also include series cards. <laughs> series 2. It goes through the whole series. Yeah, I showed off series 8. You did? Yeah. Oh, let's make that special pile. Okay. 2 and 8. Very cool. And then I got Carton Delong. Oh, I remember him. He was cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Ah, uh, this I is hate, spooky. I hate that episode. Hey, our first doctor. The first doctor is the third doctor. Just, he was unfortunately restricted due to budgetary concerns at what? BBC to mainly Earthbound adventures. He very rarely left Earth. Uh, he mastered uh, martial arts and drove around in a pretty sweet oh, buggy. Oh, yeah, him. We got the Abominable Snowman. Uh, we got back-to-back -back snowman, and then we got a borderless card called Christmas Time, and this is uh, an insert is Christmas Time series. Time so that's a border, the, yeah. a borderless card Dad, there. Yep. I'm, I'm giving you my first pack cards. The Slytherin. Nice. I've only opened one pack so far, Dad. <laughs> well, whose fault's that? Lucy Saxon, huh? Your fault. You never took my cards. Oh, the wife of the of uh, the master when he was the president, Donna Noble. 
very popular uh, companion. Oh, very yeah, sassy. Look. No, re no uh, relations there with the doctor. No love. Amelia Pond. Young Amelia Pond. Uh, the girl who waited, if you would uh, believe it. This, she was uh, very cute as a peach. What the? What? Yeah, see, so this is uh, season eight. So ah! seasons are the old doctors, series are the new doctors. So you can see this is season eight. That's the old school doctors, so series? how they grouped them. Uh, and seasons. Ah, okay. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Who's that? Amy Pond. Oh. <whistles> there you go. What are the chances, Dad? What, that you that got, I got Amelia, Amelia Pond and, and Amy Pond? In the same pack. One is the front card, one is the back card. Statistically improbable. Wow. Mad into Pop a day. Or Pop Door. What else do you get in this? Ah. Uh, Tyler, Ro Rose Tyler. Dad, I think we should make our own pile for the companions. And we got a memorable moments, Rose. Uh, memorable moments. It's uh, number MM5. A young woman named Rose Taylor is working late one night at her department store when she encounters a mysterious man who turns out to be the ninth doctor. Rose becomes involved in the doctor's efforts to stop his old enemy, the Antons. Living plastic entities who are controlled by the anesthety consciousness. The episode ushered in the modern series and introduced a new doctor, Rose, Rose's boyfriend, Mickey, and her mother, Jackie. Oh. Wait, that one's blue. This one's white. Yeah. That one's special. You need to put that up there. No, yeah, so blue's 1 in 6 packs, purple's 1 in 12, red's 1 in 23, gold's 1 in 1,000. So look out for that gold. Ew. So these are all just the base cards. Make sure we didn't get a red or a gold one there. It's a series. Oh, bum, 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 bum. So now we have series one and series two. Memorable moments. Wait, what? Wait, so everything below nine? <laughs> Francine is... Jones. It doesn't ring, sound familiar. Oh, wait, Dad. Everything Oh, the below... mother of Martha Jones. Don't that make sense? <laughs> Dad, the... Well, 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 Everything well. under the ninth doctor is Ah, Perry. Uh, Many a young man's hearts are fluttered when she wore her short shorts, I assure you. The vortex manipulator, part of the gadgets and so uh, Dad, what? I don't get how this works. So everything under the ninth doctor is was a season? Yeah, they started series for the ninth doctor. And then the old doctors had seasons. Oh, so everything up to that. So there, we got two. Seasons. Ah, I got the tenth Doctor. A very, very popular. Uh, Matt, huh? uh, not Matt Smith. Uh, David Tennant. Ooh. Got a memorable moments. The name of the Doctor. Very cool episode. I got my first. Who is the Doctor? The fourth Doctor. Uh, the fourth Doctor. Enigmatic, eccentric, adventurous. The fourth doctor is an incarnation like no other. His odd sense of humor differentiates him from his predecessors, as does his more exuberant en energy. Wait, did we get his unique style includes unkept curly hair, a brown overcoat, and most famously, a long, brightly colored scarf. Keep that out. I'm keeping all the doctors out. That's season 12. Uh, the go. doctors. Dad. Very cool Wait, character right who there. Who is the doctor? The second doctor. Very quirky. The fourth doctor. A big inspiration for Matt Smith as well. Okay, Dad. So this goes before this. Season 12. So this goes... Below there. This goes below there. I'm just sorting everything out. <laughs> ah, Jenny Flint. Victorian yeah. detective. That's, uh... Who the heck was that? That was a famous musician. Uh... Uh, working as a waitress on the Titanic, uh, 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 she did the locomotive, locomotive song back in the 80s. Dad. Do the locomotive. I got our first companion subset, and this is Leela. Wait, what? Leela! Wait, Dad, that's not the first companion that's card. That's a subset. It's an insert set. It is? That's the first one we've gotten. Because it looks, it looks different. It's sideways. It has a different number on the back. And this is the highly controversial War Doctor, which messes up the whole number, and if you bother to look at it. The first Doctor. We'll put this guy at the The guy end. who got it started. Mm -hmm. Put him at the, the Slytherin. Uh, Flatuance Extraordinaire. 
They fart. They're the only creatures in the known galaxy that fart more than Lucas. Yeah! Romania. Very cool Time Lord companion gonna, for the fourth Doctor. I'm going to extinct them soon. Here's the actual insert for Donna Noble, as opposed to the base set. You got the Reaper. The and a Slytherin. <laughs> we got the Reaper. The Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got the eighth Doctor. So that goes, that, keeping them separate. And then uh, we got Ace, who's the companion. I'm keeping him at the end. I believe that was the last companion before uh, the show went off the air. Biff. We got the who is the Doctor Eighth Doctor insert card. Very Dad. cool. Again to see the Eighth Doctor. You got season eighteen. Dad. And Lucas. Uh, yeah. Dad. Yes, son. Biff Tannen somehow got his way into Doctor Who. Biff. It looks exactly like him too. Time. Time is a crazy thing. Captain Jack Harness, also a star of the TV show Torchwood. And now he's on Green Arrow, I believe, as the villain. Memorable moments, the introduction of the Daleks. Exterminate, exterminate. And the Ninth Doctor, who is the Doctor insert card. The backs of these could have been a little, uh, Yay, a little more different. Uh, but what can you do? Good first set, and they have another set coming out in a few weeks. The face of Bo, who supposedly, spoiler, is Captain Jack Harness in the very far, far future. What do you got? Wait, uh, I'm just sorting these out, Dad. Ah, Jenny, the doctor's daughter. Wait, what? That's the doctor's daughter, Jenny. And Since when did the doctor have a daughter? And you gotta pay more attention to it. And amazingly enough, wound up marrying a doctor. This Jenny's actually a... That's the uh, the real life daughter of the fifth doctor, and she wound up marrying uh, Matt Smith in real life. So how wow. about them apples? Talk about a Doctor Who uh, craziness. Dad, the boy who I'm waited. I'm keeping everything separate. The first Doctor or the Doctor cards. Another Christmas time insert. Nice borderless cards. Very sharp looking. Oh, Dad, I think I found our first insert. Oh yeah. yeah? Stiffness. Oh, that's definitely a, a, a relic card. It's definitely, uh, yeah, Dad, look at that. Oh, I got a hit two in my pack. Whoa. How many packs do you have left? One, two, three, Day four, five. Day of the Doctor? One, two, three, four. Oh, God, Dad. What? There's only one card in the patch. Ooh, Dad. Day of the Doctor it's memory ace. moments. Oh, it's Ace with Ace. Look at that. It's Ace with the commemorative TARDIS patch. Pretty cool. Kind of would have rather had a little memorabilia, but uh, that's still pretty decent. And for our other hit of this box, so yes, you guys can turn it off after this. It is. What? The chances. What? What? Yeah. What? What? Double what? Triple what? So we got oh my God. the Ace <laughs> patch card. Ow. And then we got the authentic Sophie Aldred autographed card. Oh my you have received God. an aut authentic autograph card signed by one of your favorite members of Doctor Who cast and crew. Not it's mine. number 40 out of 50. So very, very cool. Nice. I think we did another box break of the Doctor Who TV, uh, the Doctor Who movies. Season 22. Uh, so you can look back at that. We had a bunch of autograph cards from those Companion, movies as well. Companion, companions, here it is. You haven't seen any red, uh, red foil cards yet. Oh, I wasn't paying any attention. So Excellent. Don't ask me. Excellent. Imagine if there were three dead. Three hits? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, that would make tops in their profit margins cry. What? Ah, uh, the Cybermen finally make an appearance. What? Thanks for joining us, Cybermen. <laughs> you will be assimilated. You will be erased. That's not what they say. No, what do they say? Delete. Delete, delete. That's delete, better. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Oh, Ooh, God. creepy silence. Oh, very, yeah. very cool characters. Uh, say what you want about uh, showrunner Stephen Moffat. He creates some unbelievably creepy villains. Davros, king and creator of the Daleks. Oh, come on. Now you added... All right, I, well, we got our red foil card. 
You did? Yes, we did. And it is Professor Malcolm Taylor. And it's serially numbered 34 out of 50. So you show that. Well, we see if officially we can... ran out of room. <laughs> there you go. Maybe we can extend it up to there. Season 8. Oh, come on. Don't we already have that somewhere? Oh. Man, there's a lot of creepy monsters Wait, in this what? series. One, eight, oh, one's that's nine. nine. You what? told me we got number eight. So now we have... Oh, this. Prisoner Zero. Now we... Wait, what? Prisoner oh, Zero. Yeah. yeah, huh? I remember him. Yeah, he was cool. So, Dad. The introduction of the 11th Doctor was quite a tale. Don't. Romana. Okay, companions. Dad. So we have 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18, 20, 22. Here, have a, a series seven. Go! Go! I'll do it better. <laughs> okay, let's just slide that right there. Is that a, wait, what? Oh, that's series. Not season. Memorable moments. Look. Here's series wait, two. Why are you putting? And season six. Oh, oh we started getting some doubles here, but this is a new what? one. What? We got another uh, Canton, Delaware. Six. As fake of a name as I could probably hope for a secret agent for the Secret Service. Okay, okay uh, the editor. Ah, uh, Clara Oswald. Dad, the editor made his way into Doctor Who. Oh, that's, uh, this is uh, played by Simon Pegg, uh, who also played... Scotty in the Star Trek reboot, and he was the uh, junkyard, uh, the salesman in The Force Awakens as well. So he was? He's been around quite a few of our favorite uh, sci-fi properties. Hey, gadgets. Can't, can't have a gadget series without the Can TARDIS. Oh, yeah. Season 13 with the Doctor. My Doctor! His and then doctor? The Woman. That's a very descriptive. Yeah, straight and to the point. I can't argue with that. Can you? The woman. The woman. The, that woman over there. Yeah. Oh man, I remember uh, Matt Smith with the werewolf. That was a cool, cool episode. Uh, memorable moments: the Doctor's wife, where the TARDIS actually uh, comes to life as a female no. and interacts with the Doctor. Season two. Uh, that was written by comic uh, writer extraordinaire that Neil Gaiman. There. Family of Blood. There's the rest. Exterminate. 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 The family of blood. I don't. I don't know that episode. Dad, we have so many series and set cards. Companion I'm surprised series. we're not getting any. Don't. This is season. And the, the base Dalek. Oh, that's season eight. This is the don't, creature that saved Doctor Who. No. Uh, they were thinking about pulling it off the air due what? to low ratings when it first debuted, and then they uh, they introduced the Daleks, and ratings took off, and they never ever looked back. Mm. Oh God. Oh, that's creepy, huh? I will, I will never forget that. Peg doll. Oof, man, there's been some creepy don't, don't, characters don't. in this bad boy. Triple. I mean, double. Oh, yep, the Doctor's wife. The first Doctor. We can first put Doctor. Right a double. Mm. Oh, wait. Yeah, just, just Lilith. Jeez. Season 18, or 16, rather. Ah! The foil makes it a little ah. bit hard to see some of these, unfortunately. You're killing me. Well, we got two packs left. Okay, I'll just. Dad. The Sea Devil, old school. Okay, I'm not sorry. I won't even try to butcher this name. You're welcome. Scorby. I thought that said Scooby for a second there. Scooby. Another baby, Christmas. Baby. Wait. Card. Oh yeah, these are Cecilia. I'll take that. Christmas card. Have a season twenty-four card. Why the heck would you even and have? And then the Floyd. Oof, creepy. Ugh. Doctor Who remains a show that kids sometimes cover their eyes or hide behind the couch as they're uh, fond of saying. In Britain, oh, we got a, that's a blue card there, uh, serially numbered. 
If you look on the back, you can show it off. It's hard to tell, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, 199. Yeah. Show the front, though. Show the color. It's very, very, very tough to distinguish. It's just the lack of foil in the name is the only thing that made me pause for a moment to see. <laughs> Dad. Yes, song. Is, uh, don't put that camera at me. I'm just going to my food. <laughs> Oh God, he's, his, his face is huge. No offense, whoever you are, but your face is big. Yep, Rose Tyler was another very, uh, serially numbered card, 45 out of 99. And again, very tough to tell by the color. Juden and the Ood. The Ood is odd. The Ood. The Ood's are odds. Yep. And then Canton, Delaware, this one is a 60 out of 199. That goes back there, this goes up here. It would have been nice if they were a little bit different, but that's all right. Let me just make sure. Check the back of these cards. Make sure there's no other serial numbers. Three, six. This this set is pretty infamous for not getting you a complete set. Uh, oh, so I'll have to do some trading, or maybe even buy another box to uh, try to complete the set. Oh. Oh boy, um, okay, I think I got all the serially numbered ones then. Yep, yeah, good. Thirteen. Okay, right there. So what do we got? We got the couple first there. doctors, the third, the eighth, the tenth, and the war doctor. Okay. Missing half of the doctors. Oh no. Oh, famous moments. Okay, Dad. I got... This is another serially numbered card. These are the ones we got. At 199. These are the seasons we got. Season 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Pretty strange pattern. <laughs> yeah, it was. Let me see. see if any of those are numbered so we can do our, our little recap and get accurate stats. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so we're not even anywhere close to a set, obviously. Um, so what did we get here? We got one, two, three, four of the memorable moments. We got four of the borderless Christmas time featuring the Christmas specials. From me Did we do another memorable? Oh man, I got more memorable moments. I have a whole different oh, pile. God. Oh, that's why we combined the wrong pile. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 memorable moments cards. I'm sorry about that. And then we got three Who is the Doctor? We got the fourth, eighth, and ninth Doctor there. 489. 489. 489. Four, we got two gadgets. So it's Wait. going to be a little bit of effort. What's the first one? Three, four, five, six oh. companion cards. So we will definitely be way short of uh, of that. So let's go over the uh, numbered cards, shall we? And this yeah, is a good example we? of uh, the differences. One is numbered to 99 on top. You can see the foil. The other one is not numbered on the bottom. So numbered out of 99. Uh, what is it, number 32? What other ones did we do? Uh, uh, one nine, so we got three numbered to 199, two to 99, and one to 50. So this is the other. It's number 45 out of 99. And then this is the red one, and this is 34 out of 50. And then we got two out of, uh, three rather, out of 199. Uh, uno, dos, we did get a lot of series. Oh, though. and a fourth one that I somehow overlooked out of 199. So that's cool. And then our two hits both feature Ace, and that would be Patch Card of the Tarot. Manufactured Relic. Eh, not a big fan, but actually getting a name character that I recognize, one of the companions, and that is numbered 40 out of 50 for Sophie Aldred as Ace. Ace Ventura. So they, Ace Ventura. So what do you think, bud? I like it. Yeah? Pretty cool little set, huh? Uh, we're going to have to probably buy another box to try to get some of the inserts and subsets completed. 
Uh, the series of numbered cards are all right. I mean, I don't really know uh, how much value they add to it. Maybe the red one that's only numbered to 50, but uh, if you get like the doc fourth doctor or something, may carry a little bit of a premium. Not a big fan of manufactured relics. I mean, they have so many clothes and, and different pieces you can make real relics from, but the autographed card makes up for it in my eyes because anytime you get either a doctor or a companion as the autograph, you're done. Pretty good for yourself. Imagine if you got a doctor one. Ooh, um, if we got a David Tennant, I would have retired from my job. Why? Because it would have been worth so much money. No, well, maybe not that much money. But it would have been pretty dang cool if we got a Matt Smith autograph. But maybe next time. So that's it for the first real American Doctor Who mainstream trading card set. You can buy it at Newberry Comics, comic shop. I, I mean, all the pack isn't that good. I right. mean, we have I mean, it's like cool. A yeah, there's... You know, the TARDIS, but I, don't know, I would have rather had, like, a little piece yeah, of the jersey like or something. there's, like, a million different things you could do. Like... Yeah. Tell them, tell them. Piece of the hat for, uh... Listen up, Tops. Listen up. Like, uh, there's... Piece of the hat, I... piece of the tie, the scarf from, uh, Tom piece Baker. The fez. Yeah, oh, the fez, a little bit of the Dalek, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, Cyberman pieces, all kinds of cool stuff. So, uh, oh, maybe the next patch, time... patch, though? Come on. A manufactured <laughs> patch. But, uh... What's the at least we got a good autograph hit, right? Yeah. And it's uh, numbered to 50, so very few of them uh, out in the wild. So very excited about that. Hey, so look. very cool set. Ah. Uh, looking forward to the next set where they break down more into the storylines and stuff as opposed to character cards. So Topps is uh, doing Doctor Who in a big way, and we're glad to see it happen. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked what you saw, subscribe. Uh, we have more. We have another opening day box coming up. We got a DC Universe box. We got Star Wars The Force Awakens Series 2. We got the Museum Collection. We got Gypsy Queen. We got Diamond Kings. Diamond. We got all kinds of things coming up. So stick with us. Uh, let us know what you like to see in the comments below. And uh, we will see you again real soon. As always, I am Matt. And I'm Lucas. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And have a great night. Bye.